I'm going to get out some shaft tools and play with some rubbers today. What do you think of this? Let's see what we can get into with Life with Bilsif's YouTube channel. How you doing? Welcome to Life with Bilsif. I'm your host, Bilsif. Friggin' right I am. Today on the Bilsif Show, I'm going to do some tire swapping. In case you got all excited there from the intro, it's not that kind of rubbers, Jim. Apologize about the UDR video. It wasn't really that great. I'm using the GoPro Hero 9, which has a vertical line through it. I'm waiting for an update from GoPro for it. I don't know if you guys noticed that or not, but there was a line through it, the one in the camera. Yeah, that's a brand new GoPro 9, just so you know. Isn't that wonderful? So everybody's waiting for an update for that to fix that deal. So hopefully there's no line on this. And if there is, hey, it is what it is. It is. Friggin' right it is. But we're in the uh, office tonight because outside it's foggier and decked. Hey! Oh, coronas. Shove it up your ass! Have an eye. But, like I said, the uh, UDR video wasn't the greatest. The Maverick Mini doesn't record very well when it's recording your phone, I noticed. The quality was just cocked right over. We're gonna grab the wrestler here. And I've been wanting to crack your old tires back on her, so... Plot that right there, and we'll grab ourselves a tool or two. Wait for me there, I'll be there in a minute. So we don't need much tools for this job at all. These tires, I'm running the- I put my bum. What are they called again, Jim? The trenches on the back of the daughter's rassler, but I want them back for the, the slash Ruski because I want to get the slash out next and tear that thing up because it's been a while. I'm going to get the crawlers out. Don't worry, boys, girls, and peoples. It's just, uh, I got nothing to crawl right now. It would have been good at the beach, though, that crawler. Leave your comments down below if you want me to take the crawler back to the beach. Because that looks like a good spot to go crawling. But I've been down there before in one of my past videos. If you look it up, you'll see that I was down there once before doing that. Sorry about that. I've been sneezing so my nose is all plugged up. So the I'm just going to sound all cocked over right now. But hey, it is what it is. As you can see, I might stop doing RCs for a while, but I still have my RCs, and I might go back to them every once in a while. So like I said, that's life with Bill stuff. I'm all over the damn map, Captain. So there we go. We got the trenchers off. We'll grab the factory tires of this bitch. That's a huge bitch. And we'll slap them back on. Here we go. Factory tires, almost damn near wore out. Look at them. They're just cocked right over, Jim. Look at them. How good is that focus? Tell me in the comments below. Why wouldn't you? So we'll slap these back on. And then the daughter can still go out and rip with me if she wants. So we'll slap this back in. And then maybe we'll do a uh, four-wheel burnout with a slash when I'm all done. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that happen. Because we can make her freaking happen if we can. See if we can't wreck a table or two. So stay tuned for the end of the video there because you might get a wrestler burnout. That will be freaking awesome. A wrestler burnout. A slash burnout. Oh my god, my fingers. Where'd that go? Not really going. There it is. Stuck in my deli roll, it was. You know that thing right between your cock and your belly? Yeah, right there. Huh. All right, Captain. All right, so there we go. That went back together. And yes, I'm still running. I'll show you this wrestler real quick. I'm still running the cheapo from good old eBay in this car. This is a brushless motor and a brushless, uh, and the controller, both off eBay for, I think they were 50 bucks, boys. Girls, peoples, and I'm still running like a top. Working right it is. So, there you go, you know. Well, still running like a top. Should be. Haven't got it out that much, have I? But you know what I mean. Still working. Working oh, right it is. Can't find the hole, Jim. We're in F. There it is. Okay, we'll put that back. We'll bring up the old slash of Ruski. Careful. He's on the table there, Jim. He's cocking it right over. So what we need here is we need to take the bolts off. Are you watching? Probably not. Come over here and watch. Take the nuts off. Well, just so you know, these uh, these tires, they're directional, so make sure you get them on the right way. Do you believe me? Probably not. I wouldn't. So we'll slap this on. Oh my God, I'm dropping everything. So there we go. That's all there is to putting the tires back on the slash Ruski. We're not done yet, Jim. Well, there we go. The tires are on. So now, we'll get the battery, we'll shove it in, and we'll power this thing up and see if it still even works. Powerful. Captain. Oh, that's not it. What did I do with the battery for this beaver? What did I do with the battery for this beaver? So we'll slap this battery in here. We'll plug her in, Jim. We'll power it up, Captain. We'll power it up, Captain. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Maybe the battery's dickered. Let's get a different battery. Careful. Butterscotch. Where the hell's all my other batteries? What's really going on? See what this one does. Uh oh, maybe those slash Ruskies had her days. Oh, there it goes. Wow, that battery's really dead. Holy. 
Oh, yeah! Woohoo! Oh, she's dead now, Jim. That battery's done. She's dead. Oh, careful. Greg. Charge that battery up. Where's the other one that's deader than dicks? They just had it. What'd I do with it? I'm missing a battery. Here it is. Charge this one up. Oh my God, it's two volts. How is that even charging? We're gonna have to hit her with a little nickel cadmium for a second here, Jim. Just to get some uh, boost back into her. Yeah, yeah. Holy. So I got a battery. It's below the voltage requirement here. This one right here, she's at five volts, which is no goody. So what I try to do is if you go to uh, nickel cadmium, sometimes you can give them a boost kick. Let's unplug the charge port connector and we'll give it a little boost. Now just be careful when you're doing this because they are light bulbs and you can dick them right over. We gotta try to get that voltage back up so we can get a boost charge into her. We let her drain out. We left her plugged in. See what happens when you leave her plugged in? Cocks things right over. 3.9 amps, 10 volts. See, it doesn't take long to get up there on nickel cadmium. I've done quite a few of them like this when I let them drain too fast. So pretty good at revising these batteries. We'll let her get to 11 volts and then we'll pop her off and we'll hit her again on the old charger rooski here and see if uh, she'll take off for us. Just keep your hand on it, make sure she's not getting hot. That's all I do. We're almost there. That one's at 11.66, so it's getting charged. So maybe we'll let her go to 11.66 and then we'll pull her off the nickel cadmium. She might have a hard time getting there though. We'll have to see. We'll have to see what happens. 1071, two, three. 1073, 1077, 1082, 1087, 1091, 1095. See, it's going up. We should be all right. Next one will take off. Oh, she went down one, hold on. Next one should be 11 volts. There we go, 11 one. So we'll stop that. We'll take her back to LiPo. Stop that, I said. Oh my God. We'll stop that. <laughs> and we'll plug the charge port back in. The camera's all over the place right now. I apologize. I don't have enough hands, Jim. So we'll charge the port back in. Now it's showing at uh, 1068. So it should start to take a charge now. There you go. Away she goes, Captain. So there you go. If you ever drain your battery down, just kick her back onto the nickel caddy in there and just bring her up to like the 10 volt, 11 voltage range and she should kick back on and charge her up fully. So that's how I revise a battery. But in the meantime, we haven't got a battery to put in this thing, do we? Frank, what happened to my other Jenny's battery? It must be in the garage. I'll be right back. I'm going to go look. All right. So mysteriously, I have one Gen Ace battery missing and the hold down for the battery in the the truck so i have a feeling they're both when i find them they're going to be both in the same freaking spot it did look like i made an adapter at one point so i should be able to plug this battery in and check it and see if it's got juice these batteries haven't been up and running i don't know how long but we'll see with what here oh yeah yeah she does look at you she's got her Oh, my battery's just cocked over and dead. That's what's going on here. I don't know what to tell you, Jim. Besides, we gotta charge ourselves some batteries, we do. Don't we, babe? Look all right, we do. So let's get this one into the charger and see if it'll take a charge. Sitting at 11 volts, three cells, so we good. Let's hit start. Oh, hold on, we wanna balance charge this thing. There we go. Lipo, yep. Decent. Balance charge, decent. 3.0, decent. Enter. There we go. So that one's charging. So let's hit this one up and we'll charge this one too. Look at all these. Oh, we can't. We can only do one at a time because I haven't changed the ends yet. Oh, well, there you go. That's about all I can do for this video. So basically, you know the slash is working. We know that everything's good. Back together with this thing. We'll get some batteries charged up and we'll take this thing out for a rip and we'll see how it works. So that will be the next video, maybe, or the video after. So that'll probably be the video after. I have a few more ship videos I gotta throw in. I know, I know, I hear you, but they're going in, Jim. It's just the way it is. We got three batteries charged right now. We'll see how them hold up. We're gonna try to find the Gen Ace battery and the mount for this. But after we find that, we'll be friggin' golden. Won't we, babe? Won't we, babe? She's ignoring me. Anyways, hopefully you enjoyed this little video. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit that notification bell if you did. And like I said, it's winter time, we play with some RCs. Summertime, we play with RCs once in a blue moon. But other than that, we do what we do when we do it.
And that's what makes my channel different than everybody else's. So hopefully you like it. Hopefully you stick around. I love it that you're here. I thank you all. I love you all. And you know what to do for now.